Good morning, 6th grade. You guys should be here right and early at 8 o'clock in the morning watching this video. I hope you are anyway. Now, we're going to get started with our topic for today, which is atoms. You guys have a short video today, so uh, you're a little spoiled, but we're talking about atoms. Yesterday, we were talking about your basics that we need to know to really get into chemistry and we're gonna get more into chemistry now when it comes to the study of atoms now first thing here is the definition of atoms now at the bottom right you can see I got a penny here and you're gonna notice what that's for in a little bit but it says here all matter is composed of tiny particles called atoms and so this is a very very crucial thing you had to know what matter was before you could get to the point where you could know what atoms are and so all matter that we talked about, anything that takes up space and has mass right there is made of atoms. Okay, that's pretty interesting. And we're going to look into that some more. Let's see what's going on from here. It also says, in a single penny, there's an estimated 30 billion trillion atoms. Holy cow, that is a lot of atoms. And so, just for an idea, of how many atoms that is, that is 30, no, that's number 3, followed by 22 zeros. So that is a lot of atoms just found in one of these small pennies. You could probably go around your house right now and find a penny, and if you were able to break it down into its atoms, just its atoms, you would actually get 30 billion trillion atoms that is crazy to think about that's just how tiny they are and the tininess of them is one of the most interesting things but it also makes it very hard to study them however due to a lot of different scientific discoveries we can study atoms and we know that atoms exist and if you could believe it there's actually something smaller than an atom so right now we're gonna look at the anatomy of an atom what does an atom look like and you guys can already see some things on the screen here that we're gonna get into the first thing here is that the center of an atom is a nucleus and so this is a model of what we believe or a good model of an atom that we can use here now this portion right here that I'm circling my cursor around that is the nucleus and the nucleus is a very interesting part and you can see right here that it is made up of two other smaller particles that we're gonna get into a bit I want you guys to draw this in your notes it's a very important diagram to get now from here the nucleus is made of smaller particles called protons and neutrons and so just like we see here they get the nucleus and then there's protons in here represented by the color red and then neutrons represented by the color green and so in your normal atom you will see those things there and also on the outside of the nucleus you will find fast moving particles called electrons and so you have the nucleus and you have the protons and neutrons in there and they stick together but the electrons are on the outside moving around very quickly you can see right here he's going to be going at an incredible speed you would not be able to really see anything like this it's so fast you cannot just stop it and look at it with your like just eye there's no way you could actually see these instead um, you'd be seeing the structure that they cre create and so the electrons create a structure that is called an electron cloud and so if you were able to get a microscope out and look at it in real time you would not be able to see one specific electron that's how fast they move however you would be able to see an electron cloud which is basically their after image they're moving around so quickly you can only see that so that's a pretty interesting thing to look at for sure and make sure to put this diagram in your notes make sure you are underlining where I underline because these words are going to become very very important and it's a lot of them so if you need to take your time maybe pause the video right write this stuff out that is totally fine now let's go on from here we have the charges and so right here 
the charges of the different subatomic particles. Sub meaning smaller than or underneath, and atomic from the word atom. And so right here, the first particle is the proton. So we talked about the proton earlier. And it's got a charge of plus one. Its relative mass is about one. And the symbol you'd use for proton is P. Then we have the neutron. And the neutron has a zero charge. There is no charge to it. Its relative mass is about one. And then its symbol is an N. And finally down here we have the electron. Now our electron is got a negative charge to it. And so it's almost like it's the opposite of the proton. Its relative mass is a lot smaller than the proton and the neutron. So the electron is definitely the lightest of the three here. And its symbol is this E with a negative sign right here. This is a really, really, really awesome chart. Now I'd like you guys to draw this once again in your notes because this information is going to come up a lot. And if you get this down now, you'll be good for when you get older and you see this stuff over and over and over again. Learn it now so you don't have to worry about it later. Let's keep on moving here. Now when it comes to these charges, you can see right here we got our positive and our negative and oh, look they're holding hands says you are my favorite proton how cute is that an electric charge can either be positive or negative and so right here we have a positive charge and a negative charge and it looks like those two are getting along really well that has to do with this idea of right here opposites attract however the opposite is well <laughs> opposites attract and like charges repel and so because these two protons right here not protons goodness these two particles right here a proton and electron are actually opposite they attract each other and so that's just something for us to know here now anything without a charge is neutral so that's what we call the neutrons when you want to think about it, think of neutron, neutral. It is a neutrally charged, if you could even call it that, particle. Now from here, we move on to our atomic numbers. And so, first note here, it says, atoms of different elements contain different numbers of protons. And so we talked about protons before. Those are the positively charged particles in your atom. And so every different atom contains a certain number of protons. And that's what makes them what they are. The atomic number is the number of protons in an atom. And so let's look down here at this picture I've got here. So we got the atomic number and it's oxygen. It's represented by the capital letter O and its atomic number is eight. That means there are eight protons in one atom of oxygen. That's what we're talking about there. And it really is just that symbol. When you look at these symbols here you see the eight up here that's what it's talking about that's its atomic number now every single element has its own atomic number and so that means if you were to somehow go into oxygen and take away one of its protons it's not oxygen anymore it changes into a completely different element or if you were to find oxygen and you were able to smash another proton onto there, then it would become something completely different as well. And those things are what make the difference when it comes to the different elements. Now, I told you guys this would be pretty short today. I want you to go to Google Classroom and do the classwork for today, which is March 25th, 2020. And that is all for today's video. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.